Hi everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at this book, Mathematics for Self-Study, second edition. The book is called Calculus for the Practical Man, and it was written by Thompson. This book is famous because Richard Feynman used this book to learn calculus. I will try to leave a link in the description or somewhere in the video in case you want to get a physical copy, but you should know that I'm pretty sure that this book is free because if you Google it, you can find it. Um, I think it's because it's so old. I'm going to smell it here. Sorry. Just, ah, oh, my copy smells so good. Just one more whiff. Mm, incredible, incredible. So let's just go through it very carefully um, and see what we have here. Mathematics for self-study. Calculus for the practical man. Let's see what this says. A group of books that make easy the home study of the working principles of mathematics by J.E. Thompson, Associate Professor of Mathematics, School of Engineering, Pratt Institute. And you see there's other books here as well. I do not have all of these books. Calculus for the Practical Man. But they, they might be free as well. I don't know. And then here's the copyright. You can see it's really old. So it looks like originally in 1931 and then... Uh, 1946. So that's this one here. Cool. Let's take a look at the preface. See what it says here. This book on simplified calculus is one of a series designed by the author and publisher for the reader with an interest in the meaning and simpler technique of mathematical science. And for those who wish to obtain a practical mastery of some of the more usual and directly useful branches of the science without the aid of a teacher. Like the other books in the series, it is the outgrowth of the author's experience with students, such as those mentioned, and the demand experienced by the publisher for books, which may be read as well, as, read as, well as studied. One of the outstanding features of this book is the use of the method of rates instead of the method of limits. To the conventional reader, a teacher of mathematics, whose students work for a college degree and look toward the modern theory of functions, the author hastens to say that for their purposes, the limit method is the only method which can profitably be used. To the readers contemplated in the preparation of this book, however, the notion <clears throat> of a limit and any method of calculation based upon it always seem artificial and not in any way connected with the familiar ideas of numbers, algebraic symbolism, or natural phenomena. All right. And here are... The contents, so you can see what it contains, so it starts with fundamental ideas, rates, and differentials. So we have some stuff here, and then chapter two, functions and derivatives. Chapter three, differentials of algebraic functions. Let's turn the page. I'm trying to be very careful with my copy. This is an older copy, so it's, it's kind of falling apart. It's the bad part about having older books sometimes, but I think there's there's reprints available. You can get this book. You can see all the topics there. Here's some more topics. Yeah, this is a cool book. It's an interesting book. It's very different. It's a very good book. Uh, it's well written. It has answers to the exercises. So you know, it's Richard Feynman used it. So if he could do it, you could do it, right? I mean. He won the Nobel Prize. And I actually have other books that Feynman used. I have like more advanced books. Um, I have, for example, a copy of Advanced Calculus by Woods. That's a book that he, uh, he used. Very rare uh, book. Very hard book compared to this one. Not, not for beginners. <laughs> so, but very interesting. It's got a lot of mathematics. Okay, answers to exercises and problems. Let's go, let's go straight there. So that's going to be... Uh, page 329. So let's go there and look. 329. So here you see we have answers to exercises and problems. So you, see you have answers to everything in the book, you know, all the exercises that are there. So that's really nice. It's really nice it's, it's because it's meant for self study. That's, and it's kind of a, um, it's very unique for its time. Uh, you know, this is before, um, you know, self-study was even, I mean, 
people just went to college for this stuff usually. And I mean, there are self-taught mathematicians and stuff, but I, I just feel like this book was very unique for it for its time. So there's an introduction here. Okay. And then here it starts in chapter one. Let's, let's go to chapter one and see what we have. So this is Calculus for the Practical Man, chapter one, Fundamental Ideas, Rates, and Differentials. So rates, the most natural illustration of a rate is that involving motion and time. If an object is moving steadily as time passes, its speed is the distance or space passed over in a specified unit of time. As, for example, 40 miles per hour, 1 mile per minute, 32 feet per second, etc. The speed of motion is the time of rate of change of distance and is found simply by dividing the space passed over by the time required to pass over it, both being expressed in suitable units of measurement. If the motion is such as to increase the distance from a chosen reference point, the rate is taken as positive. If the distance on that same side of the reference point decreases, the rate is said to be negative. And then here, there's a little diagram. These familiar notions are visualized and put in concise mathematical form by considering a picture or a graph representing the motion. So here we have a picture. Cool, right? So, and then you can see that the sections themselves, they're not very long. It's a pretty short section. We're almost done with the section. Let's just keep flipping through so you can see. And then that's it, right? That's it. That's it. So. Mm-hmm. And then here's chapter two, functions and derivatives, meaning of a function. I'm sorry, I just I just have to smell it here. It's it's like calling me just ah oh, wonderful. And then we have uh, differentials and algebraic functions, taking some derivatives and stuff, doing some manipulations here, as you can see. Differential of the square root of a variable. Let x be the variable. Right, y equal the square root of x, and then y squared is x. That's actually very useful, you know, just this type of manipulation and stuff. It was I was working on an integral once, and that's, you know, you do stuff like this a lot in calculus. There's a lot, this is a common manipulation. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's good mathematics. It's an interesting book, though. Um, is it the best book for beginners? Uh, I don't know. I think it's an interesting book. That that's uh, I'll leave it at that. Summary of differentiation formulas. Then you have review exercises. Yeah. It, it's, it's a good book for beginners, um, but there's other good calculus books as well, right? So, and um, that are modern. This one is not modern. Uh, a, a lot of the newer books, they'll give you like uh, more exercises and stuff, but this is still a fun, very unique book. So like if, if, you're, if you're taking calculus or something and you want to do something different, um, this this is going to be very different from whatever book you're using. I, I promise you that. Uh, it's Calculus for the Practical Man. Um, it's pretty cool. And uh, subscribe if you want to. And also I have math courses. They're on Udemy. But if you get them, please use my links because uh, it helps me and I've lowered the prices from my website, mathsorcer.com. And I've got courses on calculus, algebra, all that stuff. Keep doing math.